Coco Goff to Gabriela Dabrowski and Aaron Ready. Ratliff in the semis. It's going to be Coco Goff to start us off. Busy, busy day, especially for Jessica Pagula. She's still in the mixed doubles as well alongside Austin Krychek. So they are due fourth match out on Lewis Armstrong Stadium a little later on today up against Ellen Perez and Jean-Julien Roger. Loves it, doesn't she? <laughs> I mean, I that, I'm, I'm always shocked by how much tennis Jess Pagula plays when she's going so deep in the singles to have enough energy to go in the ladies' doubles and the mixed. Excuse me, they're actually playing Taylor Townsend and Ben Shelton. They beat Perez and uh, Jean-Julien Roger in the quarterfinals, semi-finals day in the mixed doubles today. I think there's going to be a crowd for that one. Yeah. Townsend, Shelton, one of my favourite teams to watch over the last few years. They're so dynamic out there. They're enjoying themselves, the celebrations, the dancing. Well, to skip over that ball, Coco. 14-15. Yeah, the atmosphere for Taylor Townsend's doubles match yesterday was just electric out here on Lewis Armstrong. Yeah. Very solid start from Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula. Take the opening game. First game. Yeah, they have said that they're, they're maybe just going to scale down how much doubles they play with each other after the Olympics next year. That's uh, certainly a large part of the reason why they're playing as much doubles as they uh, they are at the moment, Coco and, and Jess. Of course, uh, Paris Olympic Games. I want to think about in the mixed as well, trying to set up partnerships well in advance. I think if Townsend is able to qualify for the Olympics, she would have to be playing with Shelton. That is the most obvious pairing. here from Pagula, but I'd be Did hesitant you know. to go back towards Sue at the net too many times. She's so good at blocking whatever comes onto her. Where's your Olympic medal in Shay Robson? 30, it's not in 50. my house. Is it not? It's in my mum's house. Somewhere. I don't know. You don't even know where it is? No, I don't. It's not like you get it out all the time. I think Andy's got his framed, but he's, of course, got a couple of golds to go with the, the silver. Yeah, but there's nothing to be kind of shrugged at. That's young. That's the thing in this matchup. Gonna have to play more than just the one volley 
to put the ball away. So, immediate chance here for the number three seeds. 30 40. It would definitely take her mind off the singles tomorrow. For Coco, she's able to go out here, enjoy herself, play a couple of hours of tennis. Hopefully, she won't get too tired, but much more exciting day than just sitting in the hotel, watching TV. Volley from Shea Suway there to stay in the point. News. Yeah, Coco Goff said she can't even watch the tennis in her hotel room this year. Doesn't have uh, the actual channel to be able to watch it, so she's not been able to watch any of the, uh, the night matches when she's got back to her room. Turn cross court is a good play from the Americans. Shesue doesn't often move off the first ball. She likes to sort of build up the movement cross court as the rally goes on. So double faults. And it's the dream start for Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula. They break in the opening game and lead by two games to love now. Goff Pagula lead two games to love. First set. So comfortable the uh, the Coco Golf and Jessica Pagula route through to this quarter final has been yet to drop a set, just uh, disposing of their opponents in absolutely no time at all. It's been the complete opposite, really, for Shea Su Wei and Wang Xin Yu. Every single match they've played so far this tournament has gone the distance. Twice they've actually been a set down in the, in the first and the second rounds. Three hours and 12 minutes for this match to get onto Louis Armstrong Three Stadium. Well, in nine minutes. Oh. 
13, 15. that she brings. 14, 15. Not a bad get up from Coco there, but you've got no chance but to play up on the ball when Sue's dipping it so low underneath you. Back cross court. It seems like an obvious tactic to be very aggressive with Shea Suwe's serve because it doesn't go that fast, but at the same time, she knows that as well. Oh. See there, it doesn't bother her at all, yeah. but it comes fast. She plays the plus one shot behind her. She's got my feel in her hands to deal with it. Go Figulari, three games to one. First set. Well, I'm sure you all have it by now, but uh, you can, of course, download the US Open app to guide you through the rest of this year's US Open. It's available on both the App Store and the Google Play Store as well. Yeah. Oh, you're a deleter, are you? I delete it until the next year. And a reinstaller. Yeah. You don't have to. If it, if it doesn't float your boat, you keep it. <laughs> but then you end up having to update it next year anyway. Oh, of so course, you, might, yeah, you may true. as well delete. to get around it and play it as a forehand line. too many of these longer rallies because then you're kind of playing into Wong and Shea Suwe's plans. Let first service. from Jessica Pagula, but to no panic from Shea Suwe and Wang Xin Yu. They're able to get that break back, but on two, serve once percent. again.
It's just been such a, a stellar career for Shesu Wei, mentioned six times a, a Grand Slam doubles champion, including both Wimbledon and Roland Garros this year. It's two Roland yeah. Garros titles, 2014 as well, four at Wimbledon. Left. It's been a great tournament for Wang Xin Yu as well. She made the fourth round of the singles before losing to Karolina Mukova. Of course, it will be Karolina Mukova up next for Coco Goff in the semi finals. Oh. Again. So, three games in a row for Shi Su Wei and Wang Xin Yu. Three games on, first set. Took 18 months off the tour, did Shea Suwe, didn't play at all in 2022. Just decided to take a break. I mean, she'd been slugging it out on the tour for 20 odd years, so just said she wanted to give her body a rest. She's 37. I feel like that's more than fair. <laughs> <laughs> she stayed at home, cutting her flowers, nurturing her plants. Well, I try to be, but doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at it, but I, I do my best. That's nice. I can totally see her in the garden. Mm, I can. I did miss her while she was away as well, though. <coughs> there is no one that plays tennis like Shea Siwe does. Did you play in singles? I did. What was your game plan going into that match? To run. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. She was drop shot lobbing me for about two and a half hours. <laughs> Just what you wanted. Exactly. to do just that to overplay against her because her shot doesn't 15, come it. through very fast but it's a tricky one to try and get on top of because she plays it with so much last minute wrist on the ball so there's some movement to it Quite an old soul then, Laura. You're in the garden, you were telling me earlier you go to bingo. Let first service. Six year old woman at heart. And it can be a risky play against Shea Su Wei if she's able to dip the ball back cross court. Very tough for the volleyer to pick that up. Jessica 
exact same spot down the tee. Goff looks like she's covering the line there. So a bit of momentum for Pibula to come forward behind it. the same serve again. Oh. Well, you can see Coco trying to be right in the mix. Uh, and then yeah. Just can't get a look in because Chessie Wade plays so low over the net. David Witt sat with Brad Gilbert there. She wants Chase to wait. Having been on the other end of this, it is so frustrating because <laughs> you just don't know where she's going to go next and manages to put it in the most difficult spots to pick up. That's a t-shirt and a half, isn't it? Yeah. First of us. Absolutely flying here. Chase away and Wang Xin Yu. Not even half an hour played. Five games in a row. And one First game step. from the opening set. Kyle oh, trying to play their part here. Get behind Coco Goff and Jessica Pagulu. Saw it yesterday in that amazing doubles match with uh, Leila Fernandez and Taylor Townsend. Down and out. 4 1 double break behind, but crowd then just roared them back into that set. Pagula did so well in that situation to deal with the loss and singles. Come back out an hour later and got through the ladies' doubles. I'm sure there was some disappointment, but put it to one side. 
Fight, please. Yeah, there's Brad Gilbert hasn't been with Coco for long, but they've had, certainly had plenty of success in the couple of tournaments that he has been with it. Yeah. And they stop the work. Quick fire hill to love from Coco Golf, and they will ask the serve it out question here. Shea Su Wei and Wong Xin Yu. First set. So serving for the opening set here, Wong Xin Yu. Two love games in the last changeover. almost into the stands and then it's left her partner a little bit in no man's land Say to Jess, just leave it, leave it. Half a chance here to get the break back. That screams you, Laura, doesn't it? Good a knitter. Not yet. Maybe soon at this rate. <laughs> One, two combo there. Easy put away. I think I need to get better at gardening before I take up any other hobbies. Oh, I see. She saw Sue make the move to cut off the angle, just covered the right area. Coco Golf busy at the net. Good 
good couple of momentum swings in this set. Three love to three five. Can they keep this moving in their direction? And Pagula definitely having some more joy with the tea serve on both sides. They're doing a little bit more eye formation on, on her serve versus Coco's right now. Actually did. 14 left. Nice time to go on a little run like that, eight of the last 10 points. And then, and then the last 11 and Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula have guaranteed themselves at least a tiebreaker in this first set. Pressure now on Shou Su Wei and Wang Xin Yu in five sets. Six games to five, first set. the way a tie break given the left. lead that they had. She away and one. One point away. Again, it's a great angle from yeah, Chase yeah. away. So a tie break uh, is indeed Six required. Six all for set tie break. Duff and Pagula with three love up. They then lost five games in a row. Shou Su Wei and Wang Xin Yu couldn't serve it out. We put fire stuff there. Only 40 minutes on court for the open 12 games. First double One, zero. for the, uh, the Goff and Pagula team.
Great defending from Gotham Pagula. You can see the close call here. Just wide. 2-1. Oh, so first mini break. Away. Three, two, go Pegula. A chance here for the Americans to get on top of a couple returns. A very pacey ball. On serve at the changeover. We've yet to drop a set in this year's tournament. Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula. The right move. Five three. Xie Wang. Too clever with it. Oh, is so good. The touch and the feel that she has. Six, three. You know she what she's going to do when she drops the wrist and dips into that shot. Coco was already running back. So three set points. That first of us. Belated call from Damien Dumasois. No complaints for all four of the players, though. Jin Yu, they trailed three love in that opening set inside eight or nine minutes. They then won five Seven games in a row. Six. They were then dragged to a tiebreaker. Hottest day of the tournament so far today. Six, and six. work to do for Coco Golf. 
and Jessica Bagula. They've just dropped their wow. first set of this year's US Open. And it's going to be Wang Xinyu to start us off in the second. Anything different you'd like to see, Laura, from the, the Goff Pagula team in this second set? Um, they could be a little bit more aggressive on the returns. There's been a few times where they've tried to come in off a mid-pace return. And then you get found out straight away in the plus one shot. So if you are going to return and volley, it needs to have something behind it. So that at least you play the, the next volley from above the net rather than one that's dipped down at your feet. Fourteen left. That's a great get off the return there from one. Set two, quick fire uh, hold to love. First game, second set. Who's your favourite doubles player that you ever played with? Can't say Andy. Oh, well, why can't I? It's it's so <laughs> uh, okay, you make the rules. I, I had some good results with Lisa Raymond. Um, we matched up quite well where she was very aggressive at the net. She served, volleyed, returned and volleyed. Wanted to play a lot of eye formation on myself. And I, I'm okay Love at the net, team. but I, it was never really my thing. <laughs> so as long as I could hit a big shot from the baseline, then she would have a lot of chances. Yeah. And sometimes that contrast works really well. Oh, stops a rod of 10 straight Here points you. for Xie Su Wei and Wang Xin Yu. Shot, isn't she? She kind of dipping down to the feet of Coco Golf. It's such a little dink, but it does so much damage. Well, here is Wang Xinyu. Very Fifteen. solid. Only 21 years of age. Playing with her best singles and doubles ranking right now. And two chances to make the first move in set two. Missed it. 
match for service. Floor. Mm -hmm. Well, warning signs here for Coco Golf and Jessica Bagula. A set and now a break in front. Let's see how Here much they're enjoying it. Laughing and joking. Chelsea Way and Wang Xin Yu in control out on Lewis Armstrong. Love thirteen. An early window for the break straight back here. Touch it. Yeah, it's just that dipping backhand from Shea Sue For the first time Don't today, Coco Goff got to try and pick a volley up. Almost off a kind of shin height, that one. Easy put away for Wang Xin Yu. It's Goff and Pagula who raced into a three love lead in the opening set. Shane Wang looking to do likewise here. Oh. Oh, that. 13. Great back 14. Point. Fantastic move here from Goff. Played the first volley with so much aggression and then just lost the split step on the last one. Coco Goff. 
trying to get something going out here. Yes. Well, they really need this game to just get back on track. Too many love holds from Shea Su Wei. Fully important here, just over an hour gone. Slam doubles final for uh, Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula last year at Roland Garros. Yeah. Last night to Carolyn Garcia and Christina Mladenovic from the set in front as well. Took the opening set 6 2 in Paris that year. Actually went down 6 2 in the third. Coco, especially today, has been doing all the right moves at net, looking for the first volley. So often the key in doubles is to try and cross before your opponents do. Quite hard and <laughs> get someone like Sue because she's quite. Oh, she edges across before you even realise. Oh, better eat that quick today. Eight seconds in this kind of heat. I mean, you've been having your little mid-afternoon milkshakes as well. Had a, <laughs> a scary number of milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> today. Is there such a thing as a scary number of milkshakes? I think I think I'm at that kind of level. Oh. Yeah. Definitely close. Pretty much one a day for three weeks. Good effort. Let first service. Honeycomb and fudge milkshake for anyone that is coming. It's just unbelievably good. Get it on the food court. Wash it down with the honey juice. <laughs> so you're going after this, Laura? Not yet, not yet. A few more days. Let. First service. Just couldn't get it out of the uh, strike zone of Coco Golf. 
pretty routine put away in the end. Second set. Okay, well, it was looking a tad worrying. Ten minutes or so ago for Goff and Pagula when they went two love down, but two games all now. It's a bit like set one. Yeah. Struggle behind that second serve today of uh, Shou Su Wei and Wang Xin Yu, only just 28% of points behind it, 5 of 18. Pretty good behind the first serve, though. Obviously, this could be a three-hour battle. It was a fairly quick first set, but... That's oh, it's just that's touched a racket on the way 40. through, no protest. So, love 40. Well, this is why it's perfect for Coco to be out here before the singles tomorrow. She's playing some inspiring doubles. Clearly a lot of confidence in her game. Again, almost knocking Wang Xin Yu to the floor. Three games in a row. Three games for the number three seeds. There's been so many different little runs that both of these pairs have gone on throughout this match. You saw it in the opening set and then start of the seconds. Shane Wang win the opening two games, then three games in a row for Goff and Pagula. Looking to be much more aggressive, much more active at the net. And how it works sometimes in doubles is if you're not necessarily playing your best tennis, but your partner's really pumped up, really energized, it sort of drags you along with them. And it just looks like that's what Coco's been able to do for Jess over the last 20 minutes. What a service game for Coco Golf. Four games in a row now for the number three seeds. Golf Pegula lead four games to two. Second set. Disappointed here last year with these two. They lost actually in the first round. Oh. 
just makes that look outrageously simple. Shin Suwei just using the pace of the return. Low, she has to get down to play it. First service left. Yeah, it was another very late yeah. let call. Is there something going on with the machine? A few matches this year where players haven't been too convinced by the, the let was machine. Was that Jack Draper by any chance? Jack was one of them. He was really unconvinced. Yeah. 39. Did the damage leads to a very easy volley in the end 13, for Coco Goff. Fourteen, that's it. All right, stops the rock. Yeah. Make sure they stay just that one break behind. Premature roar from the crowd. Thought yeah, that you know. Coco's first volley had done the trick. <laughs> <laughs> they got excited. <laughs> Leave them alone. Oh. 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 Could have been excited again there. <laughs> She went so hard with it. Yeah. Well, I think at that stage both players were on the same side of the court. And in the end, once she knew was able to Eight exploit the budget. slight miscommunication from Goff and Pagula, 15-30. Leashes into the cross court forehand to finish it off. And just when you think that Goff and Pagula have the momentum, left for service. There is the little let machine in Damien Dumasois' left hand. Oh, 
does she go for the tea serve here that's worked well a few times in Shesu Wei? Both players going back on the first serve, no risks. Chasing way, but Pagula just threw up that defensive lob, got it right back onto the baseline. Big point as well there at 30 all. Oh. And a deep first serve as well. And Jessica Pagula and Coco Goff move to within a game of taking this one the distance, 5 3. Well done. Great hold from 15.30. Came up with some big first serves. Ooh. It's a good choice when someone's so close to the net to just launch it through the middle of the court because even if She's picked the right side. Barely has any time to react. Love thirty. <laughs> we can forgive them for that, they're excited. <laughs> Love. 
14 left. Fourteen, fifteen. Away. It's got to juice here. Chance of an early break. Yes. Seen some early breaks in both sets one and sets two. as she possibly could. The Americans actually coming through a couple of these rallies which they were losing in the first set. The finesse points where there's back-to-back -back volleys at the net player. Jessica Pagula serving first in this deciding set and just looking to try and free first wheel out in front now. Set. She has some names on there. It's good work. She's been busy she today. She has been busy. Charging down to try and get both Coco and Jessica, providing she's not already got them, of course. Something all the players have done so well, actually, over the last 10 days. Spent so much time with all of the fans after matches, a lot of the time, win or lose. Seen so many autographs and selfies. Really nice to see. Would you ask, obviously not appropriate, but if you were to ask any player for an autograph, who would it be? That's a good question. Retired or active player, obviously. Oh, retired as yeah. well. I mean, it's a bit boring, but I think I have to go fed. Oh, playing it safe. Yeah, it's really dull, but... Fair. Yeah. You? Steffi. Okay, that's cool. My hero. Was she? For what reason? And I, f I feel like you never really hear from her or, no, you or don't see really. her. Yeah, she's been quite so underground. It, it'd, isn't be, she? it'd be a bit more special. Yeah, I get that. Not that Roger's not special, but <laughs> you know what I mean. 13, 15. Yeah. A hold would do wonders here for Wang in particular. She's really struggled from midway through the first set, actually, at holding her serve. Hitting from Coco. 
poked off. Tatiana. This is where you can trust in your abilities as a singles player a bit more when you don't want to get caught playing your opponent's game. Well, the Americans have the ability to sit on the baseline, strike the ball big, and just hang tight if you're the net player. Fourteen, that's it. to the body. Sheer one of Coco Goff. One game on, final so ten. Game all. What do you make of her semi-final matchup in the singles, Laura Coco and Carolina Mukova? I can't wait for it. Mukova played a crazy good match yesterday. I was having a look back at the numbers this morning. Having a look back at um, Carolina's numbers against Castella last night, winning an unbelievable amount of points. 32 winners, only 15 unforced errors. Gee. Actually, could have been an even more one-sided scoreline because she was only able to convert six out of 11 break points. the game she wants to play against Michael, you slice and dice the variation. Passing first though, a few break points to try and combat. Thing that she could do about it and just yeah, like the opening set and the second set we have an early break in the third that goes the way of the number eight seeds Chase away once and you just serve this third set out seamlessly. Well handled at the net from Pigula. Knew the second one was coming back to her. Nine breaks of serve in this match so far. Right, 
turn. Love Jessica Padula. Just like that, three immediate opportunities here. Sides have been pretty ruthless and their chances have come along. Five of seven for Goff and Pagula today. Okay, very close to a break back here. First one, I was expecting this one from one. Rushed onto it. Yes. Sometimes when you're very close to the net, it's hard to control the short ball. You don't really have any forward momentum to use because if you move any more forward, you're going to hit the net. Oh, 
was barely missed a ball. Yes. Finally, she has a bit more time to, to play with. And we try and play the best possible volley here. Couldn't need to be so deep. Turn from Jessica Pagula was uh, right onto nice. the baseline. Yes. Another opportunity. If you're thinking Goff's legs look a little tired tomorrow, <laughs> this is why. Yeah. One hour 45 on court, probably longer than she would have liked. the trouble though you try and do too much with it the best returns she's played so far today have been the patient ones where she's stayed put yeah. it might be slow but it's uh, not placement there You love 40 down, they say seven break points, and they're able to back up the break to lead by three games to one. It's gonna sting for Coco and Jess Pagula. USOpen.org is your online home for everything you need. US Open. That's a 
decent backhand drive volley. 15 30. Dip on that. That's your. uses the pace and what an opportunity this is just to rub salt into the already pretty open wounds of Goff and Pagula after they weren't able to take those seven break points in the last game they could soon find themselves a double breakdown Jessica Pagula yeah, four games to one. Shows you moved to within two games of the semi-finals. Let's not forget that quarter-final from yesterday. Gabriela Dabrowski and Erin Ratliff. They were 4-1 up, double break in front in the final set against Leila Fernandez and Taylor Townsend before Fernandez and Townsend were able to take it to a, a match tiebreaker in the end. It's an extraordinary atmosphere out here during that match. Jessica Bakula just haven't quite used the crowd to their advantage here, something that Taylor Townsend did so well yesterday. The crowd were definitely getting into it as they closed out the second set. to give the crowd something to get excited about. Two breaks back. 13, 14. Oh, yeah. 
metal being stung just yet the number three seeds. Shea Wong lead four against the two by the side. Again, it's Wong who's struggling more so on her serve. And I think somewhat of a difference is that when Su Wei's serving, Wong stays at the baseline. She's back behind the baseline, actually. So wait, at net when Wong is serving. And what a dog initially from Jessica Padula, and what a volley to finish the point from Coco Goff. It's the sort of move that won them the second set. So explosive. Fourteen, fifteen. Gotta be so calm on this second volley. Knows it's coming back, doesn't panic. Plays it into the open space. Perfect drop volley. That's a good move from Wong Xin Yu. 14, 13. to 4-3 and just the one break. And still in the driver's seat here. Shosu Wei and Wang Xin Yu leading with the break at 4-3. Oh. Two games in a row for Goff and Pagula. Now we're in that yeah, opening point. Seats. Love 30. There's been absolutely no panic from them when they went 4 1 double breakdown. There's been so many epic women's doubles matches, yeah. they had to add to the mix. Love 40. 
first match on this court earlier today, three hours and 12 minutes for Lara Siegmund and Vera Zvonareva to make it through to the semis. Eight of the last 10 points for Gotham Pagula. Where dad sat today. He's <laughs> usually somewhere in the crowd. <laughs> nice bit of it. Yeah, it gets too nervous during my singles match. The stress levels. 13, Actually, earlier in the week, in one of Coco and Jess Pagula's doubles matches, he was watching it outside on the big screen by the fountains. Which surprised me. And then, and then so, three games in a row for Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula. Four against on, final set. And a real belief now that they will book their spot in the semi-finals in a few days' time. Only one space for Sue to go for, that's a lob. You know Love the way this match is going to go. Love 30. Let the service. These two after losing three games in a row. Okay, ruthless they've been today when these chances have come along. Five of six break points that they've won. The opposite to Gotham Pagula have won just seven of 18 opportunities they've had. Just when you thought it was edging back in the direction of Gotham Pagula, very much have other ideas. And in a few moments' time, they will serve for a place in the semi finals.
say that. Pagula unwilling to make an unforced error. Actually, it'd be a forced error, wouldn't it? Because it was multiple aggressive volleys. believe Suwe was able to get a racket on the ball that came straight at her chest. <laughs> look at a match point. Chelsea Ray said it down, Jesse Pagula would have just seen her moving, knew that she had to find an angle with that forehand. Match point number two. Second tournament together, and in their fourth tournament together, they are into the US Open semi finals. What a combination they are proving to be! And they get the better of Coco Goff and Jessica Pagula. And a really fun match out here on Lewis Armstrong. It really could have gone either way. So many twists and turns, but they found a way to get it done. They come through 6-4 in the third and will take on Gabby Dabrowski and Erin Routliff in the semis.